morning it's two minutes to ten here in Luxembourg and we are at the airport so we are going on a little adventure today my friend has done us a little itinerary um, the weather is slightly overcast it's cold so I'm gonna put my little jacket on and Kaylan's got his little jacket on that boss that's leaving where is it that bus that's going there we need to go up to get on that bus so we could go and explore Luxembourg and just have a wonderful time yes yeah that's the bus we're gonna get on okay say hi guys I'm excited yesterday we just stayed at home and chilled didn't really do much um, I need to actually take time out to edit the videos for you guys so you guys could see see like day one and then day two and stuff but you guys know me and the editing it's all about filming filming and then be like oh my gosh I've got too much to edit but anyway I just wanted to update you guys and ask what we're doing so as you can see this is the airport behind us I think that's the car park or whatever um, so this is where we came in we came into Luxembourg but we are staying in France so um, yeah we're on our way guys we're on our way let's go and let's hope I don't get lost so guys this is the bus we're going on the 16 but you can't really see what it says on the bus now we paid four euros for a day ticket and we could get on I think he said any bus so I really didn't want to say you so excited are you excited yeah and the prom is just behind us I can't wait my daughter's house. We're not going to daddy's house. We're in a different country. Hello. I don't think he understands that we're not in England. showing much of the outside because it's just buildings and trees and I'm, I need to save my battery. We're walking through to head to the Tory office and get a map. This is what we're doing. Very, very pretty. I hope you guys can hear me and my headset isn't clicking too much because I'm using my hands free. So, yeah, let me get back onto using this map and then we'll update you. Okay guys, so do you ever feel like when you're using a map, the map is just taking you around the whole universe, except where you need to be? That's my situation right now. I've been walking for a bit and I still can't seem to find the bloody place that I need to get to. And it's sort of annoying because I'm reading the map. The map doesn't speak, which is freaking annoying. It doesn't have a voice prompt to say, okay, 
turn it's just vibrating and all that shit um so i'm sort of annoyed this is why i like using my google maps google maps is the way forward it's the way this this map i'm having a whinge i'm having a whinge okay this is where i am at and i don't think i'm going in the right direction i don't know and no one around here speaks bloody english you try to ask them something and they look at you like but we're gonna get it done so guys i sort of figured out why the map wasn't really working as in the voice bit and it's because i'm offline i'm pushing the pram i've got a, you know i've got my bag on the front of me because i don't want nobody pickpocketing me you know what i mean so I think I found the place now after walking for God knows how bloody long. I think at least half an hour. I even had a bathroom break. That's how long I've been bloody walking. But um, I think I found it. And then here behind us where they're setting up, we're going to come for this festival that they're going to be having, this music thing. So we're going to come and check that out. So I'm going to go to the Luxembourg tourist office to get a map. And then see where we could go from bloody there. I'm bloody tired. I actually think I'm going to have a little seat because I'm tired. Are you okay, Kayline? Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's a good adventure, but I think with him being this age <laughs> and me not knowing the city because I don't, this is a new city for me, obviously. I think it's good if you've got someone with you. So you could sort of um, read the map while the person is pushing the pushchair. Because this pushchair, which is the hot sport, is full of shit. It's absolute rubbish. You can't push it with one hand. It does what it shouldn't be doing and all that nonsense. The tourist office is over there um, somewhere, like down there. If you look past that purple thing, it's just there. So yeah, and everybody's staring at me like they've never seen a person holding a camera. Like, what is you looking at? Like. <sighs> okay guys, so we managed to find the tourist place as I've told you guys earlier. And um, I'm sat here, I've got the map, and I'm contemplating whether or not I want to read this map. There's a lot of stuff. This, this map just says, get lost. Especially with the pram going up and down the stairs and stuff. This says get lost. So I don't know if I should pay the 12 euro and have a tour or if I should try to do this myself. But the thing is, I have to push this damn stroller and read the map. So do I pay 12 euros or do I use my 12 euros to buy me some good grub? What do I do? What do you guys suggest that I do? Tell me. Okay hey guys, so what we did, we went and we paid for the tour and um, we're going to go on the tour. So we've got a meet back at the tourist office for 2 o'clock. So right now it is 9 minutes to 12 I think. Yeah, 9 minutes to 12 here in Lux. So we are going to just walk around a little bit, probably check out the cathedral. I'm not sure if that's a part of the tour. Let me see. Um, because I know they said they don't go, they don't actually go to the lake, but we'll see. Hold on, if it's on here, there's a cathedral on here, but I'm not sure if it's the same. I don't know, but we're gonna go and just check, check that out. Probably get you know some pastries and stuff to eat, and just sort of you know wait for the tour to begin, do the tour, and then my friend. Uh, let me check my itinerary so the tour was 14 euros I think if I booked it online it would have been 12 if I'm not um, mistaken um, but anyway after we've done all of that we've got somewhere in the city like I said which is right here they're going to have some free concert I think that concert starts later on and I just realised there was something else on here but anyway we've booked the tour my arms are hurting 
and then there's the chocolate house I don't know where we'll find that so there's a few more places that we could go but we're gonna go to to the Notre Dame Cathedral because we walked past that on our way here so I'm gonna go there check that out then go and grab something to eat with Kaylan and then you know if I could film in there I'll film I don't know what their policies are you know when it comes to tourists and going into those places that I, I have no clue guys so we'll see how this all ends out so if I'm not mistaken I think this is a cathedral and I think this is the one that we need to go into so we're gonna see when we get in there I'm not quite sure so don't quote me and if I'm wrong I'm, ap I'm apologizing now but I think this is one because I remember passing this here and then I forgot what the name of this road is but um yeah we'll go in and check it out this all goes yeah
It's okay. <laughs> yeah. We're, going We're not going in the plane. Okay guys, so that's my tour all the way at the top and we're all the way back here. I love these little cobble streets though. So amazing. This is a workout though. So we're here checking out the um, music festival. It's free. We finished our tour. It was really good. A lot of walking, a lot of stairs, but it was good. It was really good. Yeah, chi 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 I know I'm crazy, but uh, this is all I have for you. 